Hello, and welcome to the Labyrinth of Limitations. Uh, for this episode, I thought I would share with you something from my practice uh, yesterday and today that has been really fun. And uh, like a lot of my practice, it starts with a question that I find interesting, and then I explore it uh, using Barry Harris's uh, concepts that he shared with us. Um, this is on A flat major six diminished, and it sounds like this. pretty sound to me and there's a bunch of variations um, that can come about and uh, uh, probably more than I'm going to share for sure. Um, what do we need to know in order to do this? Um, we need to know triads starting from this triad and working our way down to this triad. So I'll do that with you right now. So here's A flat major 6. I'm playing the A flat major 6 diminished scale. Triad there. Right? And then... drop twos from here, this diminished chord right below the root position A flat major six. We need to know this drop two. We're gonna use those two in the first transposition of the move. And the next transposition will be this, and then it'll be this, and then it'll be this. So um, we need to know drop threes. So drop threes are going to be, I think the first drop three I use is this diminished. So we need to know this one, and then we need to know, um, and then this one, and then this one, and then do I go? drop two and fours starting from let me see we need to know this one with the fifth in the bass this one this one this one root position and then I think I go one more yeah to this this is just uh, the same as that diminish just with open strings on six and three Okay, so, and then we need to know shell chords, starting from this shell chord with the six in the bass. I'm doing the version that is the higher shell, not the, uh, this one, but this one, because it sounds nice in this movement. I'm sure the other one sounds nice too. I don't think I played this one. Um, and we need to know Barry's chromatic scale concept which is on an A flat major scale, not A flat major six diminished, but just the seven note diatonic major. The chromatic concept is, of course, I've done episodes about it, it's been talked about a lot um, by everybody. Um, and, and, uh, and this is, uh, I fill in the note, space between the notes. Okay, and when I don't have space between notes, I go up to a scale tone could go down in some cases on the scale diminished on the eight note scale you can definitely do that um, so here's the eight note scale so then it's going to be and which is really powerful because you can do things in the scale contrapuntally while doing that chromatic concept which I do some in this and also just normal scale notes within the A flat major six diminished scale so let's get into it with all that stuff ready to go. You don't have to practice that stuff to have it mastered because you can practice this movement to work on those things. But those are the things you're practicing when you're practicing this movement. Triad goes out, 
to a drop two. Now I knew that I wanted my bottom voice to go and I thought my ear was like, how about this? And then which is really pretty. So I thought I'd put those together and that will make me have to play a drop two. That's what that's what gets this interval. So I look at these floors in that just physical sense of this is what drop twos feel like. Is this this kind of interval going to this kind of interval? All of the floors are looking that way. And I'll, I'll talk about that more, but that's kind of how you really get away from thinking chords and think mo movement and make the chords disappear. So, so I went from triad to drop two, to drop two, moving down, and then I'm gonna go to drop three, to drop two and four. And I'm going to go to in this voice, I'm gonna go down the scale like this, but I'll go there so I can put a shell chord. And the reason why is because this needs to do that, but this, I'm gonna go. So what I did there was I went from the fifth to the sixth to the major seventh, which is my next bass note in the next transposition of this movement because it started here and now it's gonna be here. But I was way down here. And I put a little chromatic note like that. And I'm gonna go. I could have gone. But remember how I said you can go scale tone above or scale tone below. In this case, I just did a chromatic note below. That sounds nice. That's because there's no space between the fourth and the third in the A-flat major 6 diminished scale. So I went, um... And it goes on, I'll go down the scale all the way to the bottom. about pretty quickly for me because I've been looking at the elevator stuff for so long um, and it'll come quickly for you the more you practice this stuff while thinking what scale tone am I on am I on the on or off chord am I on the sharp five or the major seventh if I'm on the off chord stuff like that what's the space between the sharp five and the normal five sharp five and the six um, in all of these scales and that's the real skill in the scale. So when you are practicing anything in this stuff, you're kind of practicing everything if you're thinking in that way. So you don't have to have the anxiety people express where they're like, what do I practice? Practice anything and you're practicing everything. That really becomes true the more you do this stuff, I think. Um, find something that's beautiful and interesting to you today. So here's a variation <laughs> after all that spiel. So it is a... Maybe... three notes using the trick I talk about in how to take the elevator borrowing from the neighbors taking the elevator to borrow from the neighbors I think it's episode four and I'm thinking well this is gonna be a drop two and four I'm gonna go one floor below that which is a drop three so which would be uh, up here but then also I could do a drop I could do a drop uh, two and three. I'm thinking the top three notes of a drop two and three. So, and that is this, this drop two and three. I'm just thinking what would be the diminished notes that is above this. And what that results in is one note, the middle voice goes up. And I talk all about that in that episode. So that was a very fast and short and unsatisfactory description of that. But you can go to that other episode and learn about it more. So it's... I'll do it here. 
What is it? Yeah. I'll do that one again. So it's... That's a big stretch. That's such a big stretch there. So pretty. Right? And then So in a tune, doing in all the things you are, say, we could go like this. Thing. What, I, what I do there, when I'm starting from a drop two, and I just went, and then I did a triad off of that. And then here, instead of going down to the diminished note within the scale, I just worked this down as a major six on the five to D five major six, which is really pretty. Here's some more variations, Just I'll just start back from the beginning of this. So that's playing it on two. So. People that insist that I play it on tune <laughs> uh, can, can see that. And uh, I think it's a great thing to do, of course, but I just want to go back to exploring this movement now. So check it out. What about... What about this? When this goes down, what if I go... What I did there, I took this six, this six found, remember, subset, superset, finding things within things. This drop two and four has a sixth. And I know that the sixth can go inward to a fifth, which I practice. So now I get some more movements here. Just on its own to get you familiar with this stuff 
so that you can move around. We're seeing things within things. We're doing chromatic scale. Um, the core idea, though, is just triad to um, drop two. You can do that here. And then you can go just that movement. And then you go. That's fun to practice. Um, I really enjoy this type of thing. And uh, so I hope it's inspiring. Uh, take care, keep practicing, and I'll talk to you soon.